Welcome back to my channel. In my previous video, I showed you what it's like to travel overland from Malaysia to Bangkok by minivan and the second class non-air conditioned coach. So make sure you check that video out if you'd like to know more about that option. In this video, I'll show you how to travel the opposite way from Bangkok to Kuala Lumpur on an air-conditioned sleeper train followed by a commuter train and a bus. Taking a flight between Kuala Lumpur and Bangkok takes only two hours, but traveling overland gives you a whole new experience besides being cheaper and more eco-friendly. The first leg of the journey is from Bangkok all the way south to Padang Besar, which is the first town after the Malaysian border. The journey starts from the new Bangse Grand Station in Bangkok, also known as Krung Tep Apiwat Central Terminal. It's connected to the MRT station via an underground walkway. So if you're taking the MRT, just stop at Bangse station and follow the signs to the railway station. This is the biggest railway station in Southeast Asia with 26 platforms. But it is very new, so it feels empty because there aren't many shops yet, apart from a food court at one end of the station. It's got quite a variety of food including some halal options for Muslim travelers. I'm having a bowl of noodles here before starting my journey. For the train is on the elevated railway. You can buy the train ticket online on their official website, through booking apps, or at the counter. But I found it easier and cheaper to buy at the counter. For instance, on the official timetable, there's only one direct train from Bangkok to Padang Besar, which is at 5 p.m. But when I spoke to the person at the counter, she told me there's another one at 3.30 p.m., which was the one I ended up taking. I had purchased this ticket at Hat Yai train station before coming to Bangkok. It cost 868 baht. If you're breaking the journey into shorter trips, you will have more options. For example, you can stop at Kanchanaburi, Hua Hin, Suratani, Hat Yai, or any other major towns and spend a few nights at each place. Now there's already a long queue for my train. Let's go! The air-conditioned coach is much cleaner and newer than the second-class fan coach. The windows are kept closed at all times so no dust or insects can get in. If you're traveling with a partner, book one lower berth and one upper so that you can sit together. The toilets are similar to the one in the second-class coach. They're pretty basic, but they've got a shower and wash basins. At around 6 or 7 p.m., the train attendant will come around and help make your beds for you. But you can also request for him to do this earlier if you wish to lie down. I booked the upper berth because it's slightly cheaper. The reason it's cheaper is because you have to climb up and there's no window or charging point up there. There is no restaurant coach on this train, 
but throughout the journey, there are people selling food and drinks, so you never have to worry about going hungry. Just remember to have some cash with you. The next morning, they will come back to stow away the beds at around 8 a.m. Once you reach the final stop, which is Padang Besar on the Malaysian side of the border, you will go through the Thai and Malaysian immigration. They are all right there at the train station, so it's super convenient. From Padang Besar, the easiest way to travel south is to take the KTM commuter from the same station to Butterworth in Penang. Your other option is to go to Arau or Kangar and take a bus from there, but to me, it's not really worth the hassle. The commuter train takes two hours, tickets can be purchased at the counter or through these machines here, and the fare is 11 ringgit and 40 sen. At Butterworth, you can either take a ferry to Penang Island or a bus to other destinations. Both the ferry and bus terminals are connected to the train station. You can buy the bus ticket online on apps like Redbus and EasyBook, but since I wasn't sure what time I would be arriving, I decided to just buy at the station. Most of the buses to Kuala Lumpur will stop at TBS, which is the main bus station. But there are some buses that allow you to stop at KL Central along the way. I personally prefer KL Central because it is the hub for all the other train lines and is closer to the city center. Express buses in Malaysia are clean and comfortable and there's plenty of space even if you have a lot of luggage with you. There are usually three seats in each row, so if you're traveling alone, you can take the single seat. The journey from Butterworth to Kuala Lumpur takes around 5 to 6 hours, depending on traffic, and the fare is around 40 ringgit. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next destination.